I'm living in the desert with my husband and dogs, and we have just a camp out here where we stay. Growing up was really good. My family's always very close. I did start getting in trouble a lot when I was younger, partying and things like that. The first time I tried heroin, I was 19, and it was with my ex-boyfriend. I told him to go find me pain pills because my body was cramping up. He left, and 30 seconds later came back and said he couldn't find pills, but he could find heroin. I tried it again the next day and the next day. Mark and I are not legally married, although we consider ourselves married. This last year, we met a Cherokee woman, and she said, oh, I can tell you guys are soulmates. And she made us hold hands and binded our wrists and said some words in Cherokee, and afterwards said we were married. Every day, first thing in the morning, we go to the methadone clinic. The biggest challenge living out here is getting normal supplies like water and food. It's a really long walk. The thing I'm the most afraid of living out here would be if there was some kind of medical emergency. We just don't trust the government. We're supposed to have a bunch of freedoms and we don't really have those. I'm living off the grid and I'm in control of my day. I spend almost all of my time with my husband and my dogs. I'm a lot happier now than if I were to be in an apartment spending most of my waking life at a job. They're, they're very concerned about you. Should they be? Uh, I don't think so. Not nearly as much as uh, they are, I guess. In order for us to make connection with you, we arranged for you to go to a hotel where there's a Wi-Fi and everything so we could talk to you. So you're inside with air conditioning and plumbing and a bed and all of that. Uh, how's, how is that for a break from the desert? Uh, it was really nice. <laughs> do you um, miss that? Sometimes, I uh -huh. do. Uh, not so much, though, that it's something that I feel like I need to go look for. Right now, you and Mark are living out in the desert at a You've just kind of made a campsite. You've got a shell of a camper out there. It's not working. You don't have any electricity to it, no plumbing connected to it or anything. So it's. do you sleep inside it? No, only because uh, it, it was already, it needed a lot of work when we got it, and it still needs a lot of work. And um, I'm terrified of spiders. And in an enclosed space, they are closer to me. Right. So, no, we actually um, made kind of like a teepee tent out of tarps, and I prefer sleeping in there. Does it get cold in the desert at night? It does. It gets really cold. But we have a fireplace, um, like, in it. It's made like a teepee. There's a chimney. And um, actually, with a bunch of blankets and me and Mark and the dogs in the bed, it's not that bad. What's your plan? Where, where are you going to be a year from now? That's a great question. Um, I'm honestly not sure at this point. You're on purpose living, quote, off the grid because you say you feel like um, the entire system, the capitalist system, has, has robbed you from being able to be self-sufficient. Is that right? Ye sort of, yeah. It's... If it's robbed me of anything, it's the, um, I never learned how to live off the land. How is that the capitalist system's fault? I'm not sure what you mean. They put me in school as a kid and right. uh, had me do whatever. And the whole thing is to eventually get a job so that you can make money to have a shelter and everything else. Um, and that's just how it's been for a long time. If this was not the case, I would have been, you know, with my family and things like hunting and gathering, that whole lifestyle. That is ideal to me, the way, like, Native Americans live. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.